Now, the quarterfinals on Wednesday night certainly whet the appetite. Barcelona versus Bayern Munich. 4-9 to nine we've got about Barcelona. 16-5 to five the draw and 7-1 to one about Bayern Munich. What a game to look forward to. Yeah, I mean, this is the two top scorers in the competition. I think, what have we got? I think they've shared 24 goals in total. We know all about Bayern Munich's uh, record-breaking breaking antics in the previous round, but uh, this is going to be a very, very different game, of course. Uh, there's a lot more on there. On their plate, um, I'm not sure that Bayern Munich is seven to one. A little bit too big here. Um, Barcelona have not kept a clean sheet at home in the Champions League this year. Now, they will certainly have played worse teams than Bayern Munich along the way. However, what you've got to say is both these teams were certainly fancy scoring against each other. Um, Barcelona, as we've seen on their day at home, are absolutely unstoppable. But the Germans are functional, they'll be well organised, and although they got hammered at the weekend, uh, 5-1 at Wolfsburg, a little bit like Villarreal, I think we need to forget about that one, because they'll obviously have had one eye on, on this game, and it'd be a, be a game where you're going to need high energy levels, and they're not going to have wanted to have taken anything out of themselves in that Wolfsburg game. You know, they'll have wanted to stay nice and fresh. As I say, the, the away teams at the Nou Camp have already scored 11 times against Barcelona in this competition. That's the, that's the most that any of the quarter-final teams have conceded at home. That's 11 goals Barcelona have conceded. I mean, they've actually got a good away record by Munich as well. They've won three and drawn one on the road. So they're certainly not without a chance in, in what is, I think, going to be a very open game. Uh, the over 2.5 goals at 8-11, to 11, I think is fantastic value. And I'm also going to plump for Bayern Munich to score here. The, the, this should be well, well odds on. This should be one to two. Every game that Barcelona have played, they have scored, but so have the opposition. And that price of both teams to score in this game at four to five stands out for me as well. And the last of the quarterfinals has almost become a standing dish in the Champions League. Liverpool versus Chelsea. Liverpool at eleven to ten, eleven to five the draw, and eleven to four about Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're all having the feeling we've. We've been here before at some stage as, uh, as these two giants of the English game meet again for the ninth and tenth time in six years. Absolutely nothing between these sides in previous encounters. You know, with five out of the eight games finishing in draws. And all, that's all eight, to reiterate that, all eight having under 2.5 goals. However, Liverpool, who are unbeaten in ten games this year in the Champions League, have never been stronger going into this, into this tie. Never in previous seasons have Liverpool been in the sort of form and the sort of shape that they've been in. Whereas Chelsea, for me, have never been weaker. So for me, it's got to be Liverpool all the way. Firstly, the stats on this one are 100%. As we say, the 1-2 to two on under 2.5 goals. Eight out of eight games are finished in under 2.5 goals. There's, there's no reason why that won't happen here again. Chelsea, I don't think... I've got enough to beat Liverpool on the night, but certainly they'll keep it tight and certainly they'll be in the game come the second leg at Stamford Bridge. So the 1-2 to two on under 2.5 goals. And secondly, the 4-5 to five on Liverpool to qualify. I think that's a good bet. And Liverpool have been punted from 11-10 to 10 against to odds on simply because of the form they've shown in recent weeks. They've already proved they can beat uh, Chelsea home and away this year in the league. And Liverpool to win to nil at 2-1 to one, I think is another excellent bet.